Hey guys, welcome to another workout. Today it's all about core. Um, so we're really going to develop a strong core for runners, for trail runners, triathletes. Um, it's not an ab workout, so we're not going to do crunches. We're really going to try and get a bit more stability in the core. Um, super important for when you run to keep that form strong. Um, you're probably not going to get a six pack out of this workout, but what you're going to get is a strong, strong core um, that will help you run better, um, keep that form stronger for longer, and also have that stability, especially when you're running on uneven surfaces, you know, kind of take away a lot of rotation and stuff like that. So we're really going to build a strong core today. And we're going to go 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, six exercises, so 12 minutes um, non-stop. Um, all you need for this workout is pretty much a chair for the first exercise because we're going to warm up nice and easy um, and then just a mat if you have one. Um, go grab it now so we can get started. I'll go through the first exercise that you need a chair. It's nice and easy, literally just going in here. Touch your shoulder, touch your shoulder, touch your shoulder, touch your shoulder. So we're going to go two sets on each exercise. Um, making sure that you try and get the form correct. If you start feeling like you're losing form, then you're better off stopping, giving yourself two or three minutes, go and get some water, get back into the workout, all right? So there's no point doing this workout if you're losing form. Um, you can start off with one set each as well, um, you know, as long as you stay consistent with this and try and do this a few times a week. All right, let's get going. All right, let's go. Touch. Touch, nice and control. Try and even have that pressure on your feet. Starts easy, it's gonna get harder. 12 minutes is, is a long core workout. All right, nice and easy through the first set. Let's get up 30 seconds, catch your breath. So today it's all about that form, all right? So if you feel like you're losing it a little bit, just stop that video. Those exercises are gonna get a little bit harder um, and just make sure that you get the form correctly. Now go in 12 seconds, so just nice and controlled. We're gonna go exactly the same thing. Just make sure that you're nice, nice and wide with the feet and just a slight touch for a second and then go into the next one. All right, let's go, touch your shoulder. Touch your shoulder. I know it's, it's an easy start, but we're going to build up from here. It's nice and controlled. Touch. Give it one second. Touch. So we're building that stability in the core. There's a million videos on YouTube about building nice abs, six packs, but this is more about stability specific for runners. All right, well done. Move away the chair. Next exercise, we're literally gonna go onto the ground and we're gonna do the same thing. So nice and wide, touch, touch, touch front on. It would look something like this. So I'm just controlling with my abs every time I go to the other side. All right, catch your breath, second exercise. We're gonna go in three seconds. All right, let's go. So really give it one second, go to the next one. One second, go to the next one. We're almost there, halfway there. 30 seconds for core exercises, this is a long time. Nice and controlled. Last two. All right, well done, catch your breath. We're gonna do exactly the same thing. It's nice having longer breaks though. At least you can really catch your breath. Now, I mean, the main thing we have those longer breaks is that when we go and do that exercise, we keep that form. I mean, we could do five second breaks, you know, try and get more out of it, but what we're really trying to build is deep, strong core here. So it's a lot about form. All right, let's go again. Balance, touch, balance, touch. So one second. So the core can really learn how to stabilize the body. Try and stay nice and straight through it. 
Nice and controlled with your breathing. Control that breathing. Focus on a strong core, straight lines. Almost there. All right, well done. All right, next exercise. We're literally gonna to get to this position here. Just gonna stay on one side for the first one, then we're gonna to go to the other side. So right hand and left, left knee, left leg. You're literally gonna to get to this point. I'm gonna get a bit closer, probably here, so you can feel it just a tiny bit more, a little bit more stability. So that difference between the base leg and the base hand, it's gotta be a little bit closer. All right, let's go. So we're only on the right side. Really get into those straight lines. Halfway there. If this is too hard, you can open this up a little bit. Otherwise, get this a little bit closer, base hand and base leg. Building a little bit more stability. Last one. All right, well done. All right, same thing on the side. So this time I'm gonna have the right hand, left leg as the base. So we're gonna go side, now opposite hand to opposite leg. So side on. So you want this pretty close um, to each other so you get that core really getting stronger through there. All right, we're gonna go in five seconds. All right, let's go. Right foot. Left hand, bringing through it, straight lines, really focusing on straight lines, and that stability in your core. Last five seconds. All right, good, well done. I'm gonna go on next exercise gonna get into a plank with rotations. So I'm trying to create a straight line between my feet and my elbow. And I'm literally gonna go up, in, and up. Side on, it will look something like this. All right, let's do it. So hips of the ground, straight line. Let's go side. Up, side, up, side, up, side, up, in, up. So really getting that core strength up here. Last 10. Stay with those straight line, keep the, hip, keep the hips up. Last five seconds, four, three, two, one, well done. We're gonna go to the other side. That's another warm day in Australia, so I'm getting this sweat on. We have to go for a run after this. Double run day today. Perfect day for core strength. So again, getting through here. In and then up. All right, we're gonna go in seven seconds. Catch your breath. All right, hips up. All right, in, up, in, up, in, up, in, up, in, up, in, up. Halfway there. Almost there. Starting to feel it a little bit. Last one. All right, well done. Good. We're almost there. All right, next one we're gonna get pretty much into a downward facing dog position, but with only one leg on the ground. So I've only got my right downward facing dog to a plank. Downward facing dog to a plank. All right, so front on. Only one leg on the ground, downward facing dog, plank. Downward facing dog. Plank, let's start with our right, with our right leg on the ground, downward facing dog, plank, dog, so plank. We're really getting that stability there. 
as I said, this workout is probably not going to get you an amazing, beautiful six pack, but it will get you running stronger, keeping that form stronger for longer. Last one. All right, well done. Same thing on the other side. So really focusing on coming back into this position. So I really want to hold in here where my shoulders get over my hands. All right, 15 seconds. Just wipe some of that sweat away. All right, so we're going to go with our left this time. All right, right leg off the ground. Downward facing dog, single leg. Coming back into here. Straight lines, that foot has to face forward. We're going to open up and compensate through it. As I go down, I get on top of my hands. Down, top of my hands. Down, top. Down, top. Down, top. Almost there. Down, top. Well done. Good. Last exercise. We're going to get into a plank. So a nice plank position, nice straight lines, and we're literally going to go lift, lift. So we're going to alternate legs. So we're trying to hold that for literally one second on each side, so we develop that stability in your core. All right, we're going to go in five seconds. So get into a plank position. All right, let's go. Right leg up, down, left up, down, up. So you're alternating legs while keeping a straight line, butt down. Really developing that stability in your core. Last 10 seconds. Five. All right, well done. All right, last one. 12 minutes went by pretty quickly. I can, I, I mean, it's a kind of workout that you're gonna get the core stronger, but it's not gonna affect your next run. So I'm gonna go for a run straight after that. It's not gonna affect my running form. The consistency of doing those workouts will get my running form a lot stronger. Especially when you start going longer. So we can all hold a nice form for five, six K, 10 K, but it's about when you start going longer. Let's go again. Talking too much. Right up. So holding it for a second. Alternating one leg to the other. Almost there, halfway there. It's eight seconds. Stay strong, stay stable here. That's the goal here. It's all about that core stability. All right, well done. So if this was too easy for you, again, you can do this again and again and again, but it's more about that consistency. So you work through different exercises, different workouts, and getting that consistency. It's not about doing this workout once and going, yeah, I got a strong core for running now, I can go run you know, a marathon, an ultra marathon. It's about doing this consistently. It doesn't have to be six exercises, it can be three, but getting it a few times a week. You know, that took us 12 minutes. If you can do five, six minutes, three times a week, you're definitely on the right track to staying strong, running strong, and, and staying injury free. If you like that video, smash that like button. You can subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna upload a lot, a lot more information for runners, trail runners, and athletes in general. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.